Hey there, Ralph Velasco here of the Continental Drifter, where I share simple but powerful tips designed to make your travels easier and more interesting and your photography even better. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Know that everything I talk about will be linked in the description below. All right, let's do this. Ralph here and I'm uh, sitting in a tuk-tuk in Phnom Penh and we are heading over to the central market. I'm going to do a little little food tour. It's a great place to have a very inexpensive lunch and so I've got my tuk-tuk driver taking me over there right now. From my hotel it's about three dollars and you can almost get anywhere in the city for about three dollars on these tuk-tuks so it's a really good value. It's fun. It's open air. And uh, this is the way to travel here in Phnom Penh. Coming up on the central market here, right in front of us. The big, really interesting building. I'll show you the inside in a little bit. We're walking into the central market here, Phnom Penh. Here in the central market, you can buy everything from clothes, used and new. I have a feeling most of it is probably not real, the brand names, but there's all kind of jewelry and different tchotchkes you can buy. Of course, I have no interest in this, but I do love going to the food section. But have a look at this. pretty much follow your nose to the food section. It starts about right here. There are toilets. But look at all the dried fish. Probably mostly from the Tonle Sap Lake, which is the lifeblood of Cambodia. Really cool stuff. Can also be considered a wet market. You can see all the live seafood. Whoa, look at this crowd here. Every kind of fruit and vegetable you could ever think of. Dried shrimp, nuts, or dried seafood. I've never seen these. Very busy working market. You'll see mostly locals here, but there's certainly a lot of tourists because this is kind of the place to come. I like to bring my groups here. I'm here in advance of a trip, so I'm uh, just doing a little scouting and having lunch. Oh, look at these spring rolls. Very famous here, spring rolls, rice noodles, rambutan persimmon, some things I don't even know. One of my favorites though is these guys right here. This is mango steam. And these are wonderful. I'm gonna get some on the way back. Beautiful. Ooh, and the famous durian. Yep. This is durian. You know they're durian because of the spikes. I usually come to this lady here because she's uh, very reliable, has great food, good prices, and we trust the food. So I think I'm gonna eat here. But look at the size of these squid. I had to put it on the grill. They'll put it on the grill here for you. And then this is my favorite sauce. One of my favorite sauces in the world. Kinda goes with everything. I have to find out what the name of it is actually. So you just tell them what you want and then they'll put it on the grill and finish it off for you because it's partially cooked. One chicken, but no cut, please. No, no cut, no cut, yep, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so it's partially cooked and they'll put it on there for you. Finish it off and you've got a meal. Absolutely fantastic. They give you a little bit of fish sauce and some greens, which I don't have any problem eating if you have a 
soft stomach, you might want to be aware of different things, but I kind of eat anything and hardly ever get sick, so that's a good thing when you travel as much as I do. What's really cool about Cambodia is they actually accept the U.S. dollar almost everywhere. They do have their own currency, the real, which is about 4100 to the dollar right now. So often you'll pay with USD and get change back, perhaps in a combination of USD and real, but always expect to get change back in real. And it's very difficult to spend big money, like a, even a $20 bill, maybe a $10 bill could be difficult. So I highly recommend coming with small bills, lots of singles, fives, and maybe tens, but uh, a good tip is to definitely make sure that they're crisp and clean and very little, if any, tears on them, because sometimes people won't accept them if there's tears in the bills. So make sure you have nice, crisp, clean bills. There we go, beautiful. Akun. So Akun means thank you, and uh, I'm about to eat. Uh, this is one of my favorite lunches, grilled squid. And I've got a quarter chicken here, leg and a thigh. Okay, time to dig into some squid. So they chop it up for you, put it in the sauce. Mm. A little bit chewy, nice and spicy, which I like. I know a lot of people don't care for the texture of squid, but that's what I love about it. Get that sauce on it. Mm. This is my Thanksgiving lunch today. But the squid is perfectly done. It's a little bit chewy, but in that sauce, and there's some onions and other greens on top of it. Give it a little more flavor. But this sauce is what gives it the best. Mm. Just the best. So I just had the most wonderful meal. This is how I love to eat. It was about $11 for a quarter chicken, a medium-sized squid, some rice, and two bottles of water. Apples, looks like mangoes. Got uh, dragon fruit, the red kind of dragon fruit. Oh, here's the good stuff, the buds. Bugs and tarantulas and eggs. Oh yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite though, the jackfruit. This is jackfruit. Hello. Uh, how this this one kilo? Can I get half? Half kilo. Thank you. So you can see she's the jackfruit is uh very good but it's a very difficult fruit so she there's a big stone inside and she spends all day just taking out those that meaty part and inside is a big stone but it is the best fruit and these are kilos five dollars per kilo at least the western price and then I'm gonna pay 250 for this is a half kilo. But if you need anything, the Central Market is the place to go. Chicken. Any vegetable. Fresh seafood on ice. Just want to be careful because uh, this can be slippery. See, the floor is all wet. And I recommend wearing closed toed shoes. Well, we had a big rain, lasted about 10 minutes, and that was it. And otherwise, it was. Uh, so we had a rain that just came out of nowhere. I saw the sky sort of darkening. And I said, oh, it's gonna rain. But then it rained very hard for about 10 minutes and then it's gone. And it does that periodically throughout the day. 
but uh, the people just deal with it. That's how they live. And there's always motorbikes. Just have to be real careful crossing the street. Actually, my tuk-tuk driver, Da, he's gonna wait for me, but he helped me walk across the street, which was very kind. And you just have to cross confidently and don't hesitate, because he who hesitates gets hit by a tuk-tuk or scooter or some other type of vehicle, and that is never good. And there's a beautiful flower market here too. Celebrations, weddings, funerals. Oh, the smell is wonderful. Certainly rather work in this part of the market than in this seafood section. <laughs> This is my driver, Da. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Da? Good morning, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Best tuk-tuk driver in Cambodia, yeah. Da. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to check out the other ones here on the channel, and especially in my Best Travel Tips playlist. Next, share it with others and give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're in need of a great gift that helps support the channel, you can look for any of my pandemic, travel, photography, or continental drifter designs at my online stores. Finally, be sure to check out my latest physical books on Amazon. They make great gifts. And head on over to the continentaldrifter.co website for more travel and photography tips and to get your free download. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.